Maybe I should be more like the sheep instead. Oh my gosh, those eyes. Maybe they will listen if inside up dead. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. The amount of FOMO that I have had not being able to watch this the second it released. And he did a TikTok live to go with it. I am so jealous. I want to catch up on everything. I am so excited about this one. I honestly didn't think that this day was going to come. I honestly thought he was going to release the short film and then disappear back into the world of SB19. What a year it's been for Pablo and for us. He started off this year by telling us that he was going to prioritise himself as a solo artist, and he has done absolutely that. He gave us official recordings of songs that we loved for so long. Collaborations, live performances to go with it. He then dropped the bomb that was the double album. I mean, who debuts with a double freaking album? Who does that? Uh, obviously, Pe with his Una tour. He also was a judge, a coach on TVK. He became a vlogger, my most favourite vlogger, absolutely. And I just, I'm so grateful that he gave so much of himself to us this year. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully we didn't drain him, but I'm really excited to watch this. And I'm so grateful because I love this song authentically. Listening through both of the albums, this is the song that I love the most. Okay, I can really clearly tell you that day night whatever mood i'm in this is the song so i'm really glad that he decided to give us a music video for it as i always do i'm gonna quick um quickly look at the credits to have a look at who is responsible for what i just want to see who's going to make me cry basically maybe i won't cry this time who knows um but i'm having a quick look cast oh there's quite a long cast list Wow, okay. I wonder if this is the same cast as the movie, as a short film. Production. Oh, it's not directed by Jar. I really thought it would be directed by Jar. Okay, but written by Pablo, Zayan, and Jar. He told us that already. Creative director, Zayan. How many hats does Justin actually wear? Creative consultant. What a fabulous title to have right there, eh? Okay, having a look at production, some uh, location, safety information, camera sound, glam and wardrobe, similar sorts of people, headpiece, that is a point to note, okay, onesie entertainment, of course, special thanks to all the fam. Ah, I'm just having a look at where this was perhaps filmed. Interesting. Okay. I think I have all the information that I need and I'm really excited to watch this. Please can we watch this together? Everybody turn the door for space. Straight into the song. Ain't nobody turn off said. Wow, what a place. And because of that the wolf is going me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. That is not Pablo. That look, that demeanor, the body language, nothing about that was Pablo. That was really quite eerie. As if it's not ridiculous enough how talented this man is, that actually in front of the camera, on a big screen, like cinematic like this. Wow. <laughs> Am I ever going to be able to forget this Pablo now? I can't imagine how you all felt watching that short film. Oh. I'm really not prepared to watch the rest of it. It's going to be super sad, isn't it? Because of that, the wolf is going me. Because there's nobody willing to understand. Maybe I should be more like the sheep instead. Oh my god. Gosh, those eyes. Maybe they will listen if inside up dead. <laughs> Maybe you they took him in just because I'm scared. They took him in. Cause the truth Whoa. is ugly and I'm not. Whoa. Maybe all this maybe it's just because I'm scared. That face, those eyes, the expression. 
Cause the truth is ugly and I'm not prepared He's just not prepared for this, is he? He just doesn't know how to digest this. Because when somebody feels like this, when society, for instance, makes you feel like you don't belong or that you're not good enough, you're not one of us, even if you don't really feel it, you can't help but kind of like play up to that. And obviously he feels safe and secure with the sheepskin on, right? Uh, hidden underneath this entire look. But he's softening. You see that? He doesn't really know how to take this. Like he's been accepted by someone. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> You see him melt. To face myself and find it out. The biggest lie of China. Whoa. See, he feels security. Wearing the sheepskin. No. Oh my goodness, Pablo, you're gonna hurt yourself. Kind of feeling like it's self inflicted now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they didn't show us that bit the first time around, and now I'm seeing it completely differently. I don't know if you've ever read those sorts of stories where an owner will abuse their pet. I'm sorry to kind of bring that up as an example, but uh, uh, an animal who is at your mercy, basically an innocent, voiceless, can't defend themselves animal, and the, the person, the owner, abuses them. But at the end of the day, who does that pet go to for love, for food, for comfort? The very same person. And in that flash on Pablo's face, I really felt that. That although he's been deemed this monster and he's been treated awfully by everybody around him, some of this is self inflicted though, I'm looking at. Um, but actually, when he saw that somebody might be willing to treat him better, he was open to showing them softness and not coming across so monster like. I really just felt that in that flash. Gosh. What happened? He's going to blame himself. He's looking for the sheep skin, isn't he? He didn't put it on though. <laughs> Is the little boy not gonna come?
getting so used to people telling you you are this, you are this, you are this, that you put yourself in a box and then you really start to believe that you are that. And so in a really toxic sort of a way, you keep going back to that mold, to that box, because you think that's where you belong. And that is what this story is telling me. <clears throat> I thought for a second that that little boy was going to chase him and convince him that it's okay, it wasn't your fault or... I don't know, it could have just gone in so many different ways. I thought for a second he's going to go back to his home and the little boy was going to have sat there with a sheepskin on his head um, and then he would look at him to realise actually what have I become, like what have I made myself into? Um, like him having that moment of realisation. What I did like about it is that he didn't run back home pick up the sheepskin and put it back on again. I guess I'm going to have to watch it a couple more times in order to realise like what that means. Is he finally trying to get rid, to not be hidden underneath that anymore? Is he not willing to take that on? Um, but Pablo as an actor, my god. How am I ever supposed to forget this? He had not a single dialogue. There wasn't even, by the looks of it, that much direction. It was more a feel and an emotion. And Pablo just ran away with it and killed it. Those flashes that you see. I should have known to expect that from somebody who writes in a way that makes you think it's your story, so then why wouldn't he act in a way that makes you think he really is this wolf, this big, bad, scary wolf? I guess I'm too positive. I was really hoping for a resolution at the end of that. I thought he was going to be the one to comfort the little boy. It's really leaving me wanting more, you know. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Where's part two? I want to see what happens with him. Is he okay? Pablo. By the looks of that, like he's getting weaker and weaker and weaker and eventually it will just consume him. I am so annoyed. I am so freaking annoyed at the whole damn thing. Can we talk about a few key moments? Like this, kind of waking up in a daze, not caring even for a single second that he is... I want to use the word idol so you understand what I mean because an artist could be like this but really in popular music you do find that the artist caters to a certain audience and they always have to be very groomed and preened and pretty and perfect looking style to perfection and this is just like rip all of that up, tear it up, throw it in the bin, set fire to it basically like just so completely the opposite of what we see and then obviously him carrying the signature look that runs all the way through the music video and I really like the way that half the head is like included as well and the way that like the edges are a little bit high so you can see his eyes beneath it and the characterization by Pablo where he's kind of like lowering his eyes and kind of looking out the side there's barely any like upward eye to eye contact it's always like kind of sigh kind of unsure judgy like is this okay am I okay like judging the situation and this you know there were a couple of moments in there that I love okay that <laughs> 
What are we supposed to do with that? Get him on the big, big screen. Do you know what this actually makes me yearn for? I want to hear the real audio of what happened. You know where he's crying at the end? I want to hear the real cries. Remember Kai Began? And you hear Jar screaming on top of the track. For the official music video, it would have been quite nice to have some original audio so we could hear him crying, really getting that emotion out. But yeah, I really love all the, you know where he doesn't expect this? Maybe all this, maybe it's just because I'm scared. This. Oh my gosh, and the, the flash of his eye as well, my goodness. Pablo. I am really struggling to come out of this, you know? Please do talk to me about this music video, because I can just play it over and over and it's still not going to give me a resolution. <laughs> I can't wait to read all of your comments. I should have known to expect something of this standard from this trio. That's a trio to watch, isn't it? I mean, if we know everything about Justin and we love him and he is 100% one to watch, but from what I've seen of Zayan, like, in the future, she's she will go down for creating. I don't know what, like, she wants to create, whether it's, like, popular, big popular movies with big names or whether it's more this sort of artsy stuff, the kind of stuff that's going to go to, like, film festivals. But I, I see it for her that she is one to watch she is a real powerhouse in onesie entertainment and when you put that with justin that is already so incredibly powerful but then you add pablo and his songwriting and his storytelling skills to it and oh my goodness can you see how i'm stalling and i don't want to end this video okay i'm going i'm going <laughs> Please do talk to me about this video. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. And uh, thank you so much for watching it with me. I hope that you had fun. Interesting that I didn't cry in the place that I usually cry. See, I'm not even done yet. Because that bit usually makes me connect with it as a viewer and makes me feel like, ah, oh, Pablo knows that we need this kind of support too. He's telling us that you're not alone. We're in it together. But when you see it in the sense of this story, and he's talking about himself as the boy and the wolf. It makes me feel less emotional and it makes me feel a little bit more angry. Where was I in my outro? And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe.